Today's episode of Number Six with Cheese. You know what? Slippy Jones, $30 patron, he gets to pick where we go today because in that echelon of Patreon, you get to pick. Yeah, that's so nice. Thanks, Slippy. I'm glad you picked something fun too, man. So, what, tell him what we're getting. We're getting ourselves a breakfast burrito from Sonic. What he said. Let's go. That's two bacon breakfast burritos, courtesy of Slippy Jones. Recommendation acquired. Words, jump God. Sixers, hello. Another fast food video, thanks to Patreon. Yeah, so when you're a $30 and up person and you suggest something in the Chicago area, we'll go do it. And Slippy goes, you know what? I'm easy, I want you guys to do Sonic. Yep. Breakfast that's, all day. That's like one of our most fun tiers yeah. that people don't really like use much. They like, don't. You know, the people who get the shirts and stuff, like you right. sign for 25, we send them a shirt. I feel like we get that fairly often. I just kind of assume more people would be like, I want to see them do this. Yeah. And if you do the thirty dollar, then we'll do literally whatever you tell us to do. Yeah. I'm just surprised more people haven't, but I'm glad Slippy did. Honestly, I don't. We would have never done this breakfast burrito because it's just not on our radar. It's not like anything against breakfast burritos. But it's fun trying. We've never had this, so like if you're like, oh, that's not a new item. Yeah, but it's fun to try stuff that's been on the menu forever yeah. and stayed there, and we haven't had it. We did that with like Taco Bell stuff over the years and things like that. So we're gonna do it again. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's unwrap the Rito. And whoa, bacon stuck on through. It's sliced up. Stuck on you. It's like the alien from Alien yeah. popping through the body. That's a good reference. All right, let's see if we can open it up. This type of uh, Ooh, it's glued tortilla, shut. yeah, it tends to do that with these. Tortillas get a little sticky. Um, He's doing surgery, whoa. folks. You're always patient when surgery is being done. That looks really good. Wow, it does. Big old egg, a lot of cheese. You kind of see the bacon in there. It's under the or under the egg. Yeah, it's kind of. So I mean, you can see it sticking out a little bit. Looks like they go strips of bacon, no no bits. Yeah, and the same thing with the egg. It's not like just some random egg. It looks like an actual fried up egg. Yeah, it's like they like scrambled it a little bit. Yeah, cool. Interesting. I will be indulging today because I know this is going to be even better with some Sixer sauce. Mine got a little uh, little fatter, you know. Cheese drop? No, I thought it did. I think it went into the other layer. Look at mine. It's billowing, as Corey said, with bacon, egg, and cheese. Because I'm a beefcake. Beefcake! 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 All right, first couple bites, no sixer sauce. Test the raw product. This is steaming, dude. This is fresh. Yeah, dude. All right, Slippy Jones and Sixers, this is for you. Bacon breakfast burrito, couple bucks. Sonic drive in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow, that bacon is really good. Mm. I didn't have any because I kind of tore mine like a, a barbarian. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to this side with some more bacon. Didn't, yeah, you didn't bite into the building side? <laughs> I'm dumb. Also, the Sonic Man, it's been delivering for the most part. Piping hot item, mm -hmm. crispy bacon, nice cheese, good egg. Am I coming around to the Sonic train? Dude, I feel like I am too. I'm on it. I'm on that train. Sonic's the conductor. Mm -hmm. choo -choo. Locomotive Cory. I like these, man, these uh, ingredients. I mean, it's basic. It's like cheddar or American cheese, egg and bacon, mm -hmm. but they did it where it's it doesn't taste super processed mm -hmm. and super over salty. It's nice and warm. The tortilla's not getting hard already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I could see your face. Dude, breakfast burritos just need a hot sauce or a salsa. I think they should give a little Sonic drive-in packet of either hot sauce or salsa. That would go so well on that. Oh, they do. See, salsa. okay. And it's literally called Salsa de Sonic. Oh my God, yeah. I'm so glad you pulled that out. Not a thing I like to say to you normally. <laughs> I'm gonna try theirs. I mean, come on, you gotta, gotta. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's Yeah, the yeah it's good to try theirs. I'm gonna try theirs, because I'm not one of those people that's like, oh yeah, you only tried your own, not theirs. Hey, you know, calm down. This is also a salsa, where ours is a hot sauce. I'm gonna do a Sonic bite, Corey. Let me know how that goes. Oh, it's terrific. Good? Try this. Good, simple, mild salsa. <laughs> <laughs> this is good on breakfast for you. It's so good on breakfast food. I've said it before. Mm. It might be my favorite time of the day to use this. Twelve dollars a bottle. Free shipping if you buy more than three. You know, or three or more, just more than two. Mm -hmm. um, we made it with Chef Iron Mike. Yeah, it's oh twelve God, bucks. It's so good. It might seem steep, but if you really look through the hot sauce market, small it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fair price. And honestly, 
the reason this is so expensive, and this is a Chef Iron Mike and a Corian Sean thing, we all love really like high-end ingredients. Quality I mean, you quantity. guys, any of our stuff that we've done local restaurant-wise, we always talk up the places. You can tell what people are using high-quality ingredients, and that stuff just costs more. And then we also like, we're design nerds, so we had yeah. to have a really sick label, which is gonna make it cost more. So right. it's not like we're making a, we're not price gouging. No, here, and also when you buy a hot sauce bottle, think of it also as making a donation to two different companies who are both independent creators, Number Six with Cheese and Chef Iron Mike. Yeah, it's true. So the support for the sauce has been incredible. It's you been guys have been buying it. You guys like, have been so nice what, about probably it. Probably over 150 sales. Oh, I think it's like over, you know, it's over 200 now. Yeah, because a lot of people are buying. We've had over 100, Definitely over 100 like points of sale. Yeah, but there's been like a lot of them are buying three bottles, 100%. four bottles. So and you're right, it's some of you guys have noticed that Chef Iron Mike is literally throwing in one of his sauces for free when you buy like two or five because he's got an extra slot in that flat Shipping, rate mailbox. Yeah. So he throws one of his in there. Even some people that ordered three, he kind of crammed another mm -hmm. one in there. So that's also cool. Like his stuff is so good. The reason we got this sauce is because we reached out to him because his stuff is bomb. Yeah, his stuff is bomb. It's God, so good. Sixer sauce made that so good. Yeah, no, no kidding. All right, Corey Wagner, before we rate that Slippy Jones burrito, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. Yeah, dude. I'm a big fan of the second channel. Oh my God, it's so much fun. We got a ton of new stuff. That we've been putting stuff out there super frequently. Yeah, we have. There's we a 2019 our, recap that you edited. Is so dope. That was cool to see what we did. We, uh, we also, and this may, might be the biggest accomplishment I feel like I had last year. Yeah. We wrote directed and acted in a live sketch show that we performed in front of a huge audience in Toledo, sold out crowd, 350 people came out to see our show, along with the Knits and Zach Orion who did music and did uh, stand up. It was seriously like one of the highlights of my year by far. Corey and Sean on YouTube, it's linked below so you have no typing needed. Just click, hit subscribe, turn on the bell. You got us in your feed constantly. Woohoo! All right, Corey, vlog channel I'm psyched about. That burrito I'm psyched about. Mm -hmm. Making my day start off fantastically. Start the day positive, man. Life's good, dude. Uh, out of five, chicken soup for the Teenage Soul book covers. Okay. How many chi <laughs> chicken soup for the Teenage Soul book covers do you give the bacon breakfast burrito courtesy of Slip Jones? Uh, I think that was really good. I like the ingredients were like pretty, I mean, we've talked about, it's funny, we're yeah. talking about with the hot sauce. Get them. Oh. Almost a T-bone, a cop into a Nisa. Oh, oh they got them. They're pulling him over for doing a Yui. Right? Oh, that, I think that's what it was. That's hilarious. Can Busted. You, can you not do Yui's? Uh, I guess not. I do them all the time. Oh, this is a double cop situation. Why I are think, there two cops? I think there might us. be something else going on. I'd imagine, because two cop cars? That's crazy. That's hilarious. Oh, man, dude. This is just a double SUV cop stop. All right, anyway, sorry. Anywho. Sorry. <laughs> um, they use really good ingredients. Like, I expect fast food spots a lot of times to use, like, crappier bacon, crappier eggs. And they and be like light on the cheese. Yeah. And they used really good ingredients for all that. Their bacon was great. The eggs were great. The cheese was great. I will say I do like my breakfast burritos to have like a little more in it than that. Like I like when there's like some potatoes in there and stuff. But oh, yeah. I mean, also you can't expect too much from like uh, two twenty nine or something. Yeah, fast food spots yeah. or whatever. Um, so w when it's all said and done, it was pretty good. Not the greatest thing in the world, but I'm gonna give that a uh, 3.25. Very respectable. Very I was close to that. I I think that's better than the McDonald's breakfast burrito. They have the McDonald's breakfast burrito. It used to be on the dollar menu. I have no idea if it still is. Uh, we could always compare breakfast burritos from places. I know Burger King has one. That'd be maybe a fun video. Mm -hmm. uh, but that I was thinking the whole time. That's around a 3.5 for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I was happy we had it. I think that if you're on the go, that's something where you're not gonna eat it and go, well, you know, it's the crappy quality of everything I just had to get food in me. I think you'll be happy with price and taste and overall rest of your day. Yep, I, I agree, I agree. 2020 is the year of double positivity for sure. Whoa, I'm, no mediocrity. <laughs> I know, but I didn't like that. No, that's, you're gonna be mediocre as can be. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, very excited that you're checking out Number Six of Cheese here in 2020, keeping it going. Go check out the hot sauce, the $30 Patreon level to get yourself a suggestion of whatever you want to do and of course our vlog a lot of fun stuff see you tomorrow i always wonder if i talk too much